Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. For today, I will be doing a lot of repotting. <laughs> These are all the cactus haul that I purchased from the San Gabriel Valley Cactus and Succulent Show and Sale uh, that I attended early this year. So it was their winter sale. So it was held, I think, first week of March. I did a video when I visited um, or when I attended my very first Cactus and Succulent show. If you haven't seen that video, you will see a link up on your screen or below in the description of this video. But I wasn't able to repot them right away because when spring and summer came, a lot of them started to flower. So I had these Matucana flower, Telecactus flowered, this cactus flower, this flowered, and this flowered. So I did not want to disturb them when while they were in bud or in flower. So I had to wait until they're all done blooming. And oh, although right now I see this Matucana is starting to form buds once again. But anyway better now than later on when it gets cold so i will be doing this repotting now as promised and i have my pots there already by the way this is the only one that i repotted early on because this is an islaya or an eriosis or your islaiensis this is the one that i told you that i did not notice had millibugs on it I didn't notice it when I purchased it because the top, as you can see, it has the white uh, hairs or the trichomes and the mealybugs blended with that. So I did not notice them until the mealybugs crawled onto the body. So I had to treat this and unpot it and see the, check the roots if it had mealybugs on it. So I treated it and I repotted it right away. So far, um, there's no more mealybugs, none in sight at least and um, it hasn't grown but it's not dead <laughs> so hope hopefully this will recover i'm not sure maybe the mealy bugs uh, did extensive damage on the growing top or the merry stem hopefully not so if the top or the tip is damaged it will not grow taller anymore but i'm hoping that at least it will form pups on the side I will start with this little one. This is uh, one of my wish list plants, Ubelmania or Ubelmania pectinifera. So I, when I saw a picture of this before, it has been in my wish list because I like it when it's uh, colored purple. So the purple body and the black spines, black and white spines. Oh, it's so beautiful. Actually, when I bought this, it was purple, but then it turned green. I am not sure what makes this purple if it's cold weather or sun exposure but uh, yeah I prefer it to be purple so if you know guys what makes this purple let me know should I expose it to more sun or just wait for um, colder days I don't know so by the way I saved the top dressing <laughs> I reuse them because uh, some of them comes with very nice top dressing so let's see this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpot all of them first. Okay. Ooh. This one, this soil has a lot of pumice and what looks like clay soil to me. Or maybe it's decomposed granite. Not sure, but it's uh, definitely brownish in color like clay brownish red okay oh this one is growing in its own roots very nice usually you will see this grafted but this one is growing in its own roots i like it so it has a lot of pumice in it so i got one unpotted okay this next one is an area carpus hybrid it's a cross between a retusa and an agavoides I don't have any big Areocarpus. This is my first big Areocarpus and this one is grafted. This is a gift from my husband so he purchased it for me. Areocarpus are very pricey <laughs> but I could I understand why because they take a long time to grow. I have a couple of these as seedlings and my gosh it's been three years and um, they probably grew 
a centimeter or two <laughs> that's about it they are so slow when it comes to uh, their growth that's why they come at a very steep price so this one is crafted so hopefully this will um grow faster it should grow faster and hopefully it makes pops so i can um have more or i can uh, propagate it so hmm so far so good both are planted in a soil that's a sandy and it has a lot of pumice in it pumice or perlite one of those i think it's pumice because it's hard okay so ow the rootstock bites i'm not sure what kind of rootstock they used hmm it's hard to tell but i like the, how this is grafted because it's grafted very low so if this grows it will cover the rootstock and you could hardly tell that it is grafted though the downside of this is if the rootstock rots it's so close to your scion that your scion may get affected right away so you have to catch it before the rotting spreads okay that's it very good very nice roots this next cactus this is a sucorebutia i will flash the name of this on the screen this one is making me wonder <laughs> every time i look at it i am wondering if this is growing in its own roots or if it is grafted since i bought it it has formed so many more new pops and it is growing very quick see the sides are already pushing um the pop the pops are already pushing the sides of the pot so my guess is this is um grafted but i can't tell the way it is planted here in the pot i can't tell so anyway moment of truth let's see if it's grafted or if it is growing in its own roots okay let me get first the top dressing off okay is it grafted or is it growing in its own roots let's see Ooh, look at all those babies <gasps> oh i think it is growing in its own roots i am wrong am i wrong <laughs> let's see let's clean this up further I see one pup here that has grown its own root. Okay, but... Oh, yes. Definitely, it is growing in its own roots. And it's got fat roots. It is so healthy. See, I really thought it was grafted because of how fast it was growing. And how healthy it looks. But no, it is growing in its own roots. I see some um, fertilizer there, slow-release fertilizer beads. So that is one reason why this is growing fast. But yep, it has its own roots. This one is a puna, and this has beautiful red, purple, magenta flowers. Okay, and it flowered profusely this spring and summer. Okay, this. These are the ones that I was able to unpot easily and remove most of the soil. So they came in like sandy soil with lots of pumice. So it was easy to... Uh, clean them up. I did not go completely bare root, but uh, they are good enough The little soil that's left there is good soil and it has lots of pumice in it. So this is good enough However, these three I would have to wash them off in uh, running water because the soil is very compacted It is so hard. I have a 
I think this is um, peat moss. That's why. So when that's why I don't like peat moss because when it gets uh, dry, it becomes so compact and it's so hard to take it out without damaging the roots. So I'm just going to wash these off. Time to start potting the cactus. So this is my cactus soil. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you guys know that I uh, don't have an exact recipe for my soil. I just use any cactus soil straight out of a bag. Or if I make my own, sometimes I would use potting soil mixed with pumice, lava rocks, and sand. But my aim is a 50-50 ratio. So it's 50% organic and 50% inorganic. Um, the reason that I do that, this for most of you, this will be rich. Okay, this will be too rich for most of you. But the reason that I do that is, number one, I live in a desert. It is very dry here. <laughs> we have very low humidity. And number two, I like using terracotta pots. So my soil dries out very quick because of the type of pot that I use. But I do adjust according to the pot that I'm using. If I use plastic pots, there are some instances where I use plastic pots, especially if they're still small or a seedling, I would use plastic pots, but I would throw in a little bit more pumice on the soil as I pot up the cactus. And then for some that are very rot prone, say um, an areosis or areosice those are rot prone i would pot them up in terracotta pots but i would still add a little more pumice as i pot up the cactus so i start out with a 50 50 ratio when i make my soil and then i just adjust accordingly according to what i am potting what cac type of cactus and what type of a pot I am using okay so this is the thello cactus this one produced a very beautiful white flower here is the matucana that I washed this morning so now it is late in the afternoon and look it is completely dry here in the desert especially now that it is summer everything dries out really quick Okay, so this matucana has pink flowers. Usually this type of matucana has uh, either red or white flowers. But surprisingly, this one turned out to be pink. And it's uh, a good bloomer too. It has uh, given me, I think, two flushes of flower already. And I can see there's another one forming there or a couple of buds forming. This one is a disco cactus aranase penis. So when I bought it, it did not have this cephalium yet. So this just grew this uh, springtime. And for disco cactus, usually they form that um, cephalium or that woody structure first before they flower. So I was so excited when it started forming. I knew, I knew it was going to flower soon and it did. But since this is my first disco cactus, I forgot that this is a night bloomer. So it formed, I think, four or five buds. And the flowers opened up at the same time. But I forgot that it was night blooming. So I missed it. It did not even last early in the morning. So it just opened up at night. And then in the morning, it was almost out. So I missed the first flush. Fortunately, it uh, bloomed again, although it had uh, less flowers the second time around. But I was able to catch it, and it was a beautiful, very beautiful white flowers on this one. It did not have a fragrance. Um, I thought all disco cactus or all night bloomers had a, a good scent or fragrance, but this one did not. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's the first time it bloomed, but the succeeding flowers, it will have a fragrance. But yeah, it did not have a fragrance, but it was very beautiful. White nocturnal flowers. This last one is a Coripantha. Oh, and by the way, maybe you saw it earlier in my video, 
I did add this to my soil. This is a slow release fertilizer. It doesn't have to be this. I just sprinkled a few granules in my soil. Like I said, I don't have an exact recipe, so it's like when I am cooking, <laughs> I don't follow recipes. So I just sprinkled a little bit because the soil that I am using here, this cactus soil, does not have any. Um, fertilizer in it sometimes if I have it I use earthworm casting actually I prefer that but I just don't have it right now so instead I use this uh, slow release granules as a little bit added fertilizer to my soil okay and then for the icing on the cake my top dressing okay I like to use top dressing because it keeps the soil in place and also it looks nice and the only thing is if you have top dressing guys it does keep your soil wet a little bit longer so just be cautious if you use top dressing okay and by the way this top dressing that i used um somebody asked me in my previous video this is a sifted decomposed granite the one that you use for you know paving i just sifted it removed the sandy part and just got the big ones so this is decomposed granite although for this one i used i recycled the top de dressing that i got from their previous pots these are all the cacti that i purchased from the show now all potted up i won't be watering these maybe i'll give it a week before i give it its first watering anyway the soil that i use is already damp it is also good practice um, not to water your cactus right away after repotting just in case you know you damage some roots in the process of repotting it would give it time to heal if you leave it dry for a few days okay and then i use terracotta pots for almost all of them except for this one this is plastic because i still consider this uh, as a seedling so i used plastic pot on this one i also wrote the name of the cactus in the pot i used pencil on terracotta pots for this plastic one i use a paint pen um this this is the pen that i use it's a paint pen so it doesn't come off with water but if i want to erase or change the name it comes off with alcohol okay so this is it for my video for today if you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up follow me on facebook and in instagram and let me know in the comments down below guys which one is your favorite hmm i can't decide but somehow this is standing out for me <laughs> right now okay because of its color probably so anyway guys until next time bye everyone and cheers